All right, NFT bubbles popping. Markets absolutely exploding. NFTs being used as collateral in DeFi. Hip hop catalogs selling. Other catalogs are selling as well. We have Bitcoin FUD, general FUD in the world, CBDCs. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Death Beach bringing you the latest news and commentary on the music industry uh, and blockchain and NFTs and crypto. So let's just talk about it here. The NFT market, as we can see right, right here, we, we collapsed 90%. This article is really great. I will be linking it down below. Some good charts in here, uh, particularly this one here. We can look at over the past year, NFT sales, and we see collectibles are killing it. Art hanging in there really tough, followed by sports. But whenever we look at the number of sales, things begin to change. So I find this very interesting. Collectibles, of course, still on top, but there's more quantity of sales for sports than art, yet uh, in dollar amount, they flip-flop. I find that very interesting. Now keep in mind, with this 90% collapse, in my last video I talked about the VR market growing by 6x by 2025, and this is going to be powered by NFTs. The blockchain market as a whole is expected to grow uh, by the, the compound annual growth rate of 67.3% from $3 billion from 2020 to $39.7 billion in 2025. This is like a 13x growth um, just in blockchain itself, and I, which obviously I think it's going to be you know way bigger than that. So NFT market capitalization, 2021, we've seen 125% growth in the industry. And this here, this is another good one, um, another good article. I will be linking this down below as well. But it does talk a lot about DeFi and NFTs, which is going to be huge. And as we can see, we have NFTs as collateral coming to Aave. So what does this mean? Am I going to be able to start using my art in order to be able to get a loan? Not quite. What we're going to start doing first is the NFTs are going to be other assets, other cryptos wrapped into an, into an NFT uh, or infused into an NFT perhaps. And then it'll be able to be used as collateral on a platform like Aave. Why is this important? Well, this is the first stage to us being able to use things like art or our music catalogs. Uh, in the future, our cars, our houses will be represented by NFTs. We'll be able to use those for collateral as well for loans. So really exciting stuff coming. Speaking of using your music catalog as collateral to get a loan represented by an NFT, it just so happens a bunch of music catalogs are selling right now. Uh, Tommy Boy Records, Death Row, a whole bunch of big artists are starting to jump in on this. And they're all looking at NFTs and ways to generate income by selling their catalogs to get into the new VR NFT market. Real quick, video interjection. Just a reminder, if we could go ahead and smash the like button right now, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to receive all types of information like this and any questions about what you're hearing in this video. Ask them down below. So let's get into some general Bitcoin FUD here. The idea that Bitcoin is fueling ransomware attacks is terrible. Why are we hearing about stuff like this? That Bitcoin's bad for the environment, that only seedy characters use Bitcoin, and just as they're driving that narrative, um, they're seedy characters using Bitcoin. You know, the IMF is meeting with El Salvador because they're going to use Bitcoin as legal currency. You know, what is the big deal with all this stuff? Well, it just so happens that they're trying to launch CBDCs in places like Nigeria, and the Swiss and French central banks 
are looking to are, are working with the Bank of International Settlements to roll out CBDCs as well. I'm going to link all this stuff down below. This is really important to learn about. The central banking system is not our friend. The central banking system is terrible for the environment. They have funded both sides of every war since World War I. At the very least, the whole system that they have is created on debt. The money that they give us, all the fiats, all the currencies around the world are not backed really by anything. This whole thing could fall apart any moment. There are powers that be that are deciding things for us that really shouldn't be. And that is the Bitcoin proposition that we can get away from this type of system if we want to. It's about banking the unbankable. See, what they want to do with in Nigeria with these CBDCs is if you don't want to fall in line with whatever they have going on, they will revoke the CBDCs from your digital wallet because they control it. This is the difference. The Bitcoin proposition Anybody has access to a wallet, and if you can buy Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin, and you can use that Bitcoin to purchase from anywhere that accepts the Bitcoin. So do not be fooled by this type of stuff, that Bitcoin is fueling ransomware attacks, or that Bitcoin is bad for the environment, because it is so much better for the environment than the central banking system. That's all I got for you right now. See you again soon.